Welcome to this Class 101 three-car diesel mechanical multiple unit in British rail blue and grey livery. This brief introduction will cover startup, stopping and passenger operations. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab. Head over and climb aboard. Red lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. While the brakes in the lead vehicle hold the train, set this brake as indicated. Everything's now set up, so head to the front of the train to continue preparations. When ready, sit in the driver's seat. White lights will indicate to anyone around that this is the front of the operational train. This train features two engines. Now start the engines in the rear vehicle. Give a quick glance of the platform. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. This train features a gear system. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. The process of changing gear has several steps. Set the throttle to idle and allow the engine RPM to reduce below the yellow zone. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a higher speed. When the RPM dial reaches the top of the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating.
There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. To cruise at a constant speed, the highest gear should be engaged. This reduces the speed the engine operates at and is fuel efficient. Stopping a train in the right place is the greatest skill of a driver. It may, it may take a few attempts to get it right. The brake control on this train opens a vacuum, releasing pressure holding the brakes on the wheels. It maintains a specific pressure, but close this valve by setting the handles in the lap position. Aiming to be doing no more than 15 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform. Then come to a stop anywhere alongside. Start applying a small amount of brake force now to achieve a comfortable stop. Good work. That's the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more.